version 6.2 overview. Version 6.2 contains over 200 feature and quality improvements. Here are some of the highlights. Advances in multi-tenant administration now make it easy to export individual tenant hierarchies for importing into other tenants or across dev, test, and production environments. This combined with tenant level attributes in version 6.1 makes it easy to parameterize your environment, thereby greatly reducing maintenance costs. The new master scheduling UI provides tenant administrators and users with a complete view of all job schedules to better control and manage the application. Advancements in web reporting let users define top and bottom end filters to more easily view best and worst performing metrics. Users also now have a high degree of control to customize the look and feel of charts through advanced formatting properties. Web responsive dashboards now support the ability to export the dashboard out as an image to document and PNG files and now can contain images to customize a dashboard with logos or other data-driven content, as well as support tree map charts. You'll also find ease of use improvements to Jaspersoft Studio, including the improved configuration of third-party JavaScript libraries through the custom visualization component and GeoJSON support for geographic maps. Visually impaired users benefit from major improvements to the web UI with keyboard and screen reader support, as well as support of screen reading of PDF export files. Finally, the release updates certifications for various platforms and big data technologies. Now let's take a look at some of these new capabilities. You can customize the look and feel of charts through advanced chart formatting properties. This sample view has a number of properties that control colors, data labels, and titles. You can find documentation on the large number of supported properties by visiting the advanced chart formatting page on our community site. Here, for example, I'll edit the color property. Let's take a look at top end filtering. This sample view shows the top end products by top five cities. Right clicking on a data column shows a menu of options. The top end filter is set with options that control the display of unranked values and filters across multiple row groups. If I change the filter to show the top three items, You'll see the crosstab update to show the top three products by the top three cities, with unranked values aggregated into a bucket of values called other. User-defined measures, such as percent share, are recalculated with the results. New to this release, you'll also see an option that controls the display of merged crosstab cells. This comes in handy if you need to export the data to other files, for use with other applications such as TIPCO Spotfire for further analysis. You'll also see a number of improvements to dashboards, this sample contains an image logo and hyperlinks to another dashboard, where parameters are passed to show data for the selected state. This sample shows web responsive text scaling, a custom formatted chart with the top 10 products for the selected state, and a tree map showing results by city within the selected state, where you can drill down to look at product data. This sample also shows a pop-up filter, which updates the dashboard and an export button that lets you send an image of the entire dashboard to a file. Now, let's take a look at improvements to the Jasper Report Server multi-tenant environment that are designed to make it easy to replicate objects across tenants. A right-click menu on any tenant now lets a tenant admin export and import content. The export option now provides more granular control over content from users and roles to resource types and associated assets, such as sub-organizations and attributes. To demonstrate, I'll select just a few items and export. The UI provides a warning if you try to export objects that do not include any dependent objects, such as reports with data source object references. Before we take a look at new import capabilities, I'll create a new tenant and import into that. The import process detects that the export file contains a tenant organization that differs from the current one. If I continue, the import process will merge content into the current tenant. It also provides a warning if imported objects do not contain any of their dependent objects. And looking at the repository, you'll now see new folders and content added to the new demo organization. You can automate all these capabilities via the server command line and REST-based APIs. Finally, let's take a look at the new master scheduling UI that makes it easy for users and tenant admins to see or search a list of all job schedules and edit, delete, or enable and disable them.